Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Play Feed the Beast. Wow! So, I feel like I haven't made a Feed the Beast episode in quite a while. I know I didn't post one last weekend, last Saturday, because I was out and about. But, um, you guys were like, you should do portal stuff. So, I tried this, tried making a faith plate, which obviously I was successful. Um, oops, not a farth. They're super easy to make, like really easy. Just some obsidian, iron, redstone, glass, super easy to make. I also made these long fall boots, which are they're pretty easy to make also. They're a little bit expensive with diamonds, but um, they are worth it because you will not take any fall damage whatsoever. And um, I'm just going to take off my jetpack. I'm going to show you guys this. I'm not sure if it'll launch you any further if you have like a start. Boo! Oh no! Boom! Nothing. No damage at all. It's great. Fantastic. And, um, I decided that since I- oh god. My cat is doing something. Um, since I lost my jetpack, I decided- I made this one. Which is just the one that we had before. But I'm also working on- let's see, let's see if we can get it up. This one. The- big the big boy jetpack and it has so many steps it's not really like that difficult but it takes so many steps all of this stuff and um there's oh i forgot what it was but you need greg greg mm, he's at it again in the last update he added this thing a bending machine a plate bending machine of course you did greg thank you greg so so thankful for yet another step, another machine that we have to make. As you can see, I haven't really fixed anything over here. And I obviously haven't learned my lesson because I still don't have a door. I thought I made a door, but apparently I didn't. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm like close. I have to make this. I have to make another one of these. And... That's pretty much it. It's just like a lot of lapis, a lot of steps. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but we are going to go over to the quarry, the quarry quarry. And um, there, here, I cleaned it up. We finished this quarry. This one is done. It goes all the way down to bedrock. And I think I'm going to go through and clear out these walls because there's some stuff that I want, like the tin and the copper. And, uh, we could use the coal and stuff like that. Um, and then I cleared everything out because I definitely want to make this more organized and less cluttered. And just, uh, I think this will make it more efficient and stuff too. Um, so I'm going to use a sorting machine to sort the peat. And I would also like to, uh, we probably won't get to it this episode. Um, I want to make some ender chests so that every once in a while... Our peat farm back at the house we'll put um some peat into that chest and then it will poop it out here so that way we don't have to make another peat farm because honestly we're probably not burning enough peat over um at the house to like really need all of it so i think i'm actually on peaceful right now am i that's embarrassing let's see i am i don't even have food with me i'm just gonna leave it on easy because i do not want mobs to eat me Oh god, what the- You- you saw that! There- <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Um, let's see. Do we want to go back to the house? Let's go back to the house. We need to get food anyways. Um, let's see here. Because I had a clean inventory when I was working on stuff, so that's why I don't have any food. Grab this. And then we can fly up here. Very slowly, but surely sleep and then uh we will get started on the quarry quarry getting that set up it's it's gonna be like ran the same way pretty much i'm just going to have the furnaces kind of run separately i feel like the power was kind of getting like mushed together um so i was gonna try like different types of sorting machines but like i said it just didn't really work out so i'm just gonna use this one um Let's clear some of this out. 
So what my plan is is that I'm going to separate them out a lot more. So that can stay there. We just need to bring it up one, I think. And up one more. And then throw... Actually, no. We'll go like that. Throw a chest on it. And then this will end up being more underground, I guess. I haven't really figured one part out. The cable part. Um, let's see. Get this all cleared out. And then this is just like the little hole that was uh, from our old setup. So get this all cleared out. Um, I might have to go off camera because I don't know how much room this is going to take up. Okay. So this... Ooh. Yeah, because we still have to clear out this level. Oh god. I don't know. I'll just do it. Okay. Like that. And then place that and get our sorting machine in place so the whoops not like that like oop, can we get it there we go so the pipes will run the peat into the chest and then since these pipes don't connect with the sorting machine um, but they connect with the chest so the chest will drop items down into here and then this will plop them out and you need pneumatic tubes not pneumatic tubes <laughs> the P is silent um, and then these I haven't really decided I don't know if this needs to be even or not I don't think it does so I'm gonna go like this bring these out more and the furnaces are going to go, they're going to be one apart, and then I think I'm going to put the bat boxes on top of that, and then each bat box will get a engine to power. Um, whereas before it was kind of like two engines would like power be powering one, and it was just kind of a mess. So I think they'll be going right about here. Um, let's see here, so I'll put one right there, there. And there so things are kind of even then we can get rid of these and then just run the tubes up I did bring paint brushes just in case ooh is that gonna connect it'll connect to that I'm wondering should we bring it one more out then I think I will um, I didn't think about that I usually don't think about these things so just grab these and bring them out one more like that and that Get down here and grab them okay got all three um and actually while this is going um while i'm setting everything up i'm going to set this up okay good that connects so that um this is getting power now uh like that um this is getting power while we're working on stuff so like that and that should be getting power. Yeah, it's starting to get power. Okay. Um, now we replace these. Right here. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I wonder, is there something else that you can remove these quicker with? I think I've asked this before. I don't know. Probably. I'm too lazy to find out, though. Okay. Like this. And like I said, I did bring paint, but I don't think that I'm going to need it now like this and oh wait yes I do what am I talking about I do need paint so that it can sort them duh okay get rid of that and one problem or one thing that I'm wondering that will happen is um, the cables will intertwine like not not the tubes the cables that come out of the bat boxes those might entwine and I don't the, that might be like transfer power weird um, let's just paint these green blue red and then we can come down here and green green um, oh god my dog blue and red okay I don't even know if you can hear my dog actually because this is this new mic is a little bit better at like 
getting rid of background noise. Anyways, so we have that set up and so yeah, when we turn this on, it should start pumping it out into there. Um, and I will just throw that in there to make sure that it works. Oh wait, we also have to hit that. And that should make it go. And I think it doesn't have enough power right now quite yet to go. Yeah, it has to be, this has to be completely full. Um, so that is like that. And then I believe we can just place the bat boxes like this and it should take power out from the top. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's try. Okay, so much pee is coming out because I had it off for a while. Oh, whoa. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, here comes my cat. Okay, and now my cat is sitting on top of me. Thank you. Thank you, Edgar. That is his name. Edgar. Who names the cat Ed? I don't know. Um, okay. So, now that those are set up, I'm going to come over here and let's get these engines set up. Um, so, I didn't really figure out a better way to do this. Um... So, I'm just going to do it how I set them up before. It's kind of a crappy way to set them up, but like I said, I don't really... Oh, ah, dang it, I did that again. I forgot levers. Levers? Levers? Lever levers. It's kind of like one of those um, pecan, pecan or caramel caramel look at <laughs> i didn't realize that before the water in here is frozen um let's see wood make into levers i didn't need that much wood i don't need that many okay i'm gonna make four because i think i might actually need four i know i need at least three look at all the little villagers all clumping together okay get back over here and I think we can jump up here and place one like that and place one whoops no not you no like that oh come on like this and I want I'm wondering if can we switch that while we're down here no you can't oh dang it you suck you suck man oops not you get out of here okay so we have that all set up and now oh i just realized that's why i didn't put the levers on the back before is because that's where the cables have to come from duh okay so now this is where it gets a little bit messy because we have to get these all the way over to there so and they have to come from the front so I'm going to go like this, maybe, and then run them through the ground, I think, because the thing is, is I don't want to connect them like this, because that's kind of what I had before, and it was making it so that, like, this first bat box would pretty much do everything, and these two wouldn't really do anything, unless this one became empty. And so it made it so that it didn't run quite as fast as it could have. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to figure it, figure this out. And then I will be back. And these seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, 29, 28. Perfect. They're being sorted. Great. Thank you, Mr. Sorting Machine. And since there was a backup now, they have a good amount of peat in them. Whereas we were running out before. So, yeah, I'll be back with this connected, hopefully. Okay, so I got everything hooked up. Unfortunately, I did end up just connecting them at the bottom. It's just, it would be, like, too complicated. Look at all these creepers. They are, <laughs> I'm so afraid one of them's going to come up and kill me. I need to light this place up more. Um, oh, I thought I saw something, like, pink over there. Well, I guess it could have been a pig, but whatever. Um, but, nope. Stay away. Stay away. Ugh, air attack! Die! 
die. Thank you. Um, are these on? No. We're gonna turn this on. That one and that one. Okay. <laughs> it's a, uh, a, not a creeper, a zombie in the village knocking on doors. You probably can't hear it. Um, but yeah, I just ended up connecting them because it would just would have been like a mess. And honestly, it's not really worth it since it's like always moving and stuff. Um, you know what? One sec. Oops. No sensitivity. Um, let's go peaceful. There we go. And then just go back to easy. Ugh, and they just spawn right back. What is this? This is like worse than vanilla. Or like, um, mob spawnings worse in Feed the Beast than vanilla? I don't really know. Um, they seem like it. Oh, where did that come from? Oh. Oh, shoot. Get this. Put. Place. That's one thing that I forgot to do. Like that. There we go. <laughs> Oops, forgot to do that. That was throwing them really far. Oh my god. Seriously, get out of here. And they do like two hearts of damage because I don't have any armor on. What the heck? Okay, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it definitely looks a lot cleaner, and, um, which is good. Definitely looks a lot cleaner, a lot less messy, and I'm happy with it. I, I'll look into, like, different types of cable or something. Can this chest still open now? No, it can't. That's one thing you have to keep in mind when you do that. The chest has to still be able to open. So, that's kind of annoying. But, oh well. Like that, and... Um... You'd have to get, like, a half slab or a stair or something right there. Which I don't have on me. But these, these seem to be working good. Oh, see, that was that was what I was concerned with. Only this one is going, uh, which is kind of annoying. But it's going at a decent pace, and it just kind of like makes it so that those ones are back up in a way. Um, this one's going now, um, but this one's not. Um, but yeah, I think that just about concludes this episode i'm gonna go back to the house oh arrows we don't have a bow though i haven't made like any weapons i don't think i've made a sword or anything in feed the beast yet i just get swords from like dungeons um but yeah i think that's about it what do you guys want me to do i don't know i'm kind of at the moment i'm not really feeling like super inspired with feed the beast so i don't really know like i don't want to play something that i'm kind of feeling bored with um, because I know, like, my boredom will kind of show, but I don't know, give me ideas on, like, projects I should do or something, um, I might do them, I don't really know, there's kind of, like, other series that I want to move on to, um, even though this series has not been around long at all, and I was, like, super excited when I first started it, but, I don't know, it just kind of, like, all depends on if I get inspired by something, um, but yeah, I think that about concludes this episode. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. Oh, wait. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Feed the Beast. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.